Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had a viewer ask me if I could do another video on circuit boards, a little tear down, sorting the material, a little weigh in, so I'm happy to do so. The great thing about circuit boards is you are going to find them in all sorts of electronics and appliances. They have some great scrappable materials on them and they are 100% scrappable. I can bring them into a scrapyard and get paid e-waste price, um, so it's paid by pound without taking anything off of them. And there are some regions that will actually sort them into three categories, low grade, medium grade, high grade, depending on the types of precious metals on them or other metals. So that is something you have to check out with your region. Uh, obviously gold on the circuit boards is gonna give you your high price um, circuit boards that are low grade is just going to be stuff like copper on there and aluminum. So again, there will be, if those are your scrap yards or regions, a higher price for the gold ones. Here, unfortunately, I only get one price. So regardless of what's on them, it's going to be about five to six cents a pound. So it is definitely well worth my time and energy to separate the materials and get the clean value price for those metals. These have a lot of copper on them, which is gonna be number two copper at $4.10 a pound. There's some aluminum extrusion, um, so definitely a good thing. The other option for some people is looking online. Boardsort.com, for example, is an online source that will buy um, gold circuit board, or gold plated circuit boards um, that have the gold fingers on them, um, TV, the ribbons that come off of that. So that is definitely another option. Um, but you do have to factor in, obviously, shipping costs and quantity. Um, but uh, again, you can check those out as well. I will, at the end of this, do a final wait. Uh, I will uh, put that into my link. Um, but again, circuit board's an excellent source of scrappable material. So I'm going to start here, my low grade stuff. I do have a scale back there. The first circuit board that I want to take out is this is from a computer tower. Um, I've already opened it. You can see it does have a nice tin shell. So this is going to go for about eight cents a pound. But inside of this, look at this beautiful circuit board here. This is going to be a low grade circuit board because there are no precious metals. But look at all of these copper donuts as I call them. I've got three on the top here. I've got a nice big one here, two smaller ones here. I got a couple strands of copper right there that you can see. As well, I have two beautiful aluminum heat sinks right here. And this right here too, I'm gonna get a lot more money separating these. So all I'm gonna do very quickly is just start breaking it apart. There is a fan that came off of here. This has a small little fan, uh, copper motor in here. I don't actually open it up because it's very small. I will just actually throw this into my copper bearing motor. Um, as is. Uh, some people will reuse these or some people will sell them online. Um, so you definitely can check out too with little parts like this. Um, that's another option. But the nice thing about this, because I am not saving this circuit board, uh, I can just go ahead and cut through it. Um, the circuit board is going to be bent or broken and the scrap yards will still take all of it. Okay, so that's great. But just gonna quickly pull out these donuts, very easy. I definitely wanna make sure I'm wearing safety glasses, but for these, because there's a little bit of glue on them, I do wanna make sure that I wear safety glasses and I just, like I said, just wanna twist them, okay? There is a little copper donut, if you call it, underneath, okay, um, that I do have to break off. So I cannot just weigh this and get clean number two copper for this because there is still a metallic or magnetic donut in there. So it does have to be broken open, but still some beautiful number two copper. As well, I have right here a small piece of aluminum. This is actually gonna give me clean aluminum price. And on the back of it, you can see there is a pin. This pin I do have to unscrew, but every one of these aluminum heat sinks has one of these pins. As then you can see, or as you can see, I've already broken the plastic. This is copper. So every one of these pins is actually number two copper. I already have, look at this, this is seven pounds of just those pins from circuit boards. So any type of aluminum heat sink has them on there. Again, number two copper at $4.10 a pound. This clean aluminum is gonna give me about 50 cents a pound. I do have to make sure that I pull the pins off of it. 
okay? But here are two more I'm gonna open up, and unfortunately, you can see they are screwed on, um, so it's gonna be hard. I don't wanna waste time um, opening it or unscrewing them right now. I will do that later, but very easy to take off. Just gonna actually just cut them, cut the base, cut the pin so then they do not hold on to it so I can pull this out, okay? So this right here is, just gonna twist that. There we go. Okay, pull that. There is, as I said, a little connector. You do wanna make sure that you pull off the piece. Okay, there's gonna be a pin on here. This is clean aluminum or extrusion, if you will. Okay, this right here is another aluminum heat sink, as I said. And this actually is going to be another form of aluminum called extrusion. Any type of aluminum that looks like it's been put through a mold or a press like this, that is extrusion. And this is actually going for $1.25 a pound, okay? And these are very heavy. You do have to make sure though, you do separate these. You will find some like this that is painted black. Um, these ones are about two cents less. So this is painted extrusion. This is clean extrusion, okay? So it's about two cents different, as I said. Some people just put them all together and will take the lesser value. But when you have a huge bulk of both, it does add up, okay? And I'm telling you right now, this is about uh, 12 ounces right here. This one, as I said, I do have to pull off the pins. And you do wanna make sure on the bottom, if I put a magnet to this, you can see the magnet does stick. That's because there are a couple of pins there that are steel. Okay, so you do have to make sure that you pull those off. Very easy to do. Some of them will just slide out. Some of them you can just break out. Okay, as you can see, I just popped it out there. There's the pin. So now it is free of metal, uh, magnetic metal or steel. So I'm gonna get clean value. Okay, so that's great. So some beautiful number two pieces there and some extrusion. So I'm just gonna put this into a bucket and I know the weight's gonna be off just a little bit because of those, but it doesn't matter. It's not gonna affect it huge. Okay, so get, oh, there's another wheel. I gotta get this one too, because that is a really nice big one. Okay, so hard, part of the problem is just to get to that little cut, that little bit of glue on there. Okay, there's my other one. And I have a couple more transformers here, and these ones, in my opinion, are not worth um, breaking open for the copper. I will actually just leave those so if you were to twist them and look at them, uh, there are definitely some that are not worth the um, weight or the effort to get or break it apart. The copper content is not worth it. So um, that is something you have to look at. So again, if I was to look inside of it, like I'm doing here, there's a lot of paper, not a lot of copper. I will actually just leave those on there for the weight of the circuit board. Um, another option is actually just taking them and putting them into your transformer bin, uh, depending on how many you have. So that is another way. But look at all these copper donuts just from that, okay? Here again, that is another piece of extrusion, putting it in there, okay? And the great thing about this is once I've taken off the goodies, I'm still getting value from this, okay? So I'm just gonna put this into a container as well. And I haven't even touched the whole thing yet. There's one of my pins right there. So again, just gonna pull that off. Another piece of number two copper. Look at that pin right there. Boom. Okay, a beautiful donut here. Just gonna pull it off like this. Okay, it doesn't matter if I break it, as I said. <laughs> I have to break it anyway to get the clean copper. Okay, and all I'm gonna do actually is to open this is just take a hammer. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the one. Watch this. Take it. Break it open, okay? So it's gonna have the pieces of copper there. The inner part of that is gonna be tin, but it just unravels. Look at that, very easy. Okay, there's the other one. And I definitely also wanna make sure that I get my other pins, okay? I've got two more spools of copper right here. You can see these two spools, it all adds up. Just pull it up, that's all I'm gonna do, it unrolls. Okay, these capacitors on here, I do not take these capacitors. They're not worth taking off, 
okay? But sometimes I do have to bend them or break them off just to get to the copper, and I will just throw them right back into my um, circuit boards, okay? So some people will take them. Uh, I do not, I've already done an experiment, and I will include in the link uh, capacitors if they're worth taking or not. I've actually seen some scrapyards not even take them because they weigh nothing. But the nice thing is, if they are on a circuit board like this, I'm still getting e-waste price, okay? Here too is another low-grade board. Look at the nice little donut here. This came out of a microwave. So some microwaves have a really nice big transformer. Some of them have a sort of apparatus like this. You can see the beautiful spile uh, or a spool of number two copper. There is another gorgeous aluminum heat sink. This is also extrusion. Some nice copper donut there, okay? Some circuit boards do not have extrusion as aluminum heat sinks. This came off of a circuit board I just took apart yesterday, which was a TV. So this too is aluminum. If I take a magnet to this, where is my magnet? Right here, okay? So you can see it is non-magnetic. So this is actually gonna be clean aluminum, which is about 50 cents a pound. So some aluminum heat sinks are actually just sheet aluminum. And again, the rule is obviously, if it is grooved, then it is extrusion. So look at that, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is off of a TV circuit board. Six aluminum heat sinks there. These two transformers, again, I'm gonna leave them on here. Some of your heat sinks like this, this is actually, if I put a magnet to it, you can see it is tin, but that prong there is still copper. So you still want to take that off, um, but beautiful donuts. This transformer, however, if I show you this one, look at, you can see right where my finger is, there is the number two copper in there. So this, because you can see that nice spool, this is worth opening and taking out that copper. And I'm actually just going to actually, for this experiment, I'm actually just gonna break it off and I'm gonna put it into that donut because it too is gonna to give me copper price. Okay, just gonna peel it up. And I'll actually just show you by just breaking it open, there's just a little bit of ferrite on that. Okay, a nice hammer. Look at, look at that spool, boom, beautiful. So I'm gonna put that in there. The rest of this outer casing, this is magnetic, so this is gonna go, it's like I said, it's ferrite. I'm gonna put it into my tin pile, okay? So I do have weight for that as well. These aluminum heat sinks, again, they are bracketed down, but if I take, just break it off, okay? I don't really care if it's broken. Okay, there are pins, okay? But again, this stuff as well, have to make sure before you start taking these off, you have to unscrew these clamps. But this, again, has a couple magnetic pins. I have to pull those out in order to get clean. Okay, so just pulling it out like that. There we go, boom. So now it is clean. There's some number two and a beautiful extruded heat sink. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to the pile. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all of this, obviously. There are definitely mid-grade boards like this that have relay boxes. There is always a beautiful transformer on it like this. As you can see, if I pull the transformer, you can see the beautiful copper there. So this too is gonna to be worth copper. I am definitely opening that. And I do have videos showing you how to open those little transformers. These little circuit boards you find a lot on doors of microwaves. Um, they always have little relay boxes. There is, you can see, there's another clamp or number two. Um, little prong there. Some of them you can see will have the metal showing. Some of them are not, okay? But I wanna open up this relay box here. I've had a couple questions on this. So very easy to tell. Look at the nice little copper prongs on this. Every one of these has a silver dot inside of it, as well as a spool of copper. So I'm just gonna open this for you, okay? Just gonna break the plastic a little bit. Okay, just so I can, there you go show you, okay? So two little things that are always in these little circuit or relay boxes is a spool of copper and the silver contact. So there we go. So every one of these contacts, you see if I bend it, 
put it to the side. Every one of those little dots you see is a little bit of silver. And you can see from the burn marks, it looks like it's shorted out, but there are one, two on there, okay? There is also copper. So what I do is I actually just cut off those little dots. I'll put them in a small little silver recovery bin. The rest of these are gonna be copper. I'm gonna put into my just number two copper. There are a lot of them that are actually brass. So you gotta be careful that if this is brass, then you wanna put in the brass. You don't wanna just assume that it's copper. But this is a small spool of number two copper as well that I will unravel and put in my number two as well. Okay, so just gonna, there you go. Look at that. It all adds up, even though it's very thin, okay? Every one of these relay boxes has some. So again, it just unravels, comes out. The rest of this case is gonna be tin, okay? But there is still, in every one of these relays, a little bit of spool of copper, okay? So you wanna make sure you get all that copper out as well. Okay, I'm gonna put that off to the side. So another relay box, okay? But again, some places will consider this mid-grade because there is silver. As well, there are some uh, capacitors, um, I wanna say uh, ceramic capacitors. These little orange guys right here, if you are into micro scrapping, like some people are, there is a crystal oscillator. These do have a little bit of silver in them. You can sell items like this online to different places. Um, this crystal oscillator, I'm just gonna pull one of them off. The rule is that I've heard is if they are magnetic, then they are not worth keeping. So this is not magnetic, I just dropped it. So I will put that into a container. If it is magnetic, then it is not worth the fresh metal in, so I will actually just throw it into e-waste. So again, that is something I've read. I don't keep my um, crystal oscillators, uh, my LMLCCs or any of that micro scrapping. The only thing I will keep is gold. But again, it depends on what you do and your lifestyle or your likes. Um, the other thing that people will look at is MLCCs, which are small little boxes. I'm trying to find one once I get over to here. This is my high grade board. A lot of your high grade boards, you're gonna find in TVs and computer towers. Uh, you are gonna find them in satellite dishes. This is a satellite dish box that I have. Look at this circuit board here. You can see right there the beautiful gold on it there. These pins all have gold. Um, but again, there is also other nice things here, some crystal oscillators and some little chips here that have gold in it too. So um, there is gold on these ones. This here, this board right here, because there's no precious metal on there and it is on a or it does detach, there is here a low grade board. So some beautiful clean aluminum. There again is a beautiful copper piece right there, a transformer that has some copper in it. But your gold, definitely something that you want to get. Okay, so gonna look at that right now. This too came out of a little box. Look at this one, um, little aerial antenna. There is some beautiful gold fingers here, gold plated fingers. These are gold plated as well, these little attachments. And what I will do with these is I actually will cut down the finger uh, because as I said, I will not get high grade price where I am. Um, and also to cut down shipping, uh, if I was to bring it to board sort because I'm in Canada and board sort is in the US uh, I'm just gonna cut down this just to take these fingers off and I will just keep the fingers the rest of this board I will just throw into my e-waste and give it to my scrapyard but I have seen some people also try to refine these themselves high concentrated vinegar will remove these uh, as one youtuber um, has suggested I have not tried the experiment yet I just keep them but these, as I said, definitely the gold fingers is worth, in my opinion, the gold value, okay? So these are gold plated, not pure gold, but it all does add up, okay? The motherboard that comes out of your computer tower, this heat sink right here, look at the size of this guy. This actually came on top. Look at that, I wanna weigh this. This is definitely gonna probably weigh about two pounds. Again, this is extrusion, so a beautiful piece. Inside of it, the nice thing is this actually came with a couple RAM sticks. So these RAM sticks, as you can see, some people will sell them online as is, depending on how many gigabytes, but there is your gold prongs as well. And this had two RAM sticks inside of them, okay? As well as your little gold uh, cornered chip. But the Moneymaker ICU chip is underneath that heatsink. I'm just gonna open this up. 
fold that up just to see what type I have. There we go. Open it, open it. Do, 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 do. And there you go. There is my gold chip. Now, I've also heard, depending on the serial number from these, if the gold chip does not have the gold fingers that come outwards like this one doesn't, that these ones can be worth a lot of money. People will buy these. Um, there is a serial number on the back once I remove the little bit of um, silver glue there, but that is definitely something you wanna check because these ones are worth a little bit more, okay? There is, as you can see right there in the middle, those are your MLCCs. Those can contain palladium or palladium, okay? But definitely your circuit boards have gold in them. Um, I do also wanna make sure I include, I have a video showing you how to take the gold off these and I will put that into the link. But every one of these has right there an aluminum heat sink. Some of them have two or three of them. There's another two. Look at that. This one has four RAM sticks to it. There are some really nice gold prongs right there. As well as people will forget that these also, all of your USB ports do have gold in them as well. If I turn this over, this phone jack, there is right there in that phone jack, you can kind of see the gold. Those are gold plated fingers. So I do cut those off. I will put them into a vial. So there's gold recovery there. Okay. Uh, I am curious if I have another circuit board. So this too, this is another circuit board. This came out of a subwoofer. Look at this one has a small bit of gold prongs. Well, again, I'm going to cut that gold off. The rest of this, I will actually just throw into my e-waste. Okay. Some of these boxes, I'm gonna check this just a second. These red boxes, I am curious to see if they are relay boxes. Okay, but just gonna hit one off. So there is also another relay box. I'm gonna open it just to see the copper inside. There we go. All right, so. You can see inside, small little bit of spool of copper, a little bit of silver contacts on there. So I will go through it again and get those out, get that copper. But again, the money maker here is obviously my gold. There is one of my prongs again that is copper, so I wanna take that off. Some people will also take these IC chips, cut these off, remove them. Um, but again, that is if you're into micro scrapping. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you, obviously, this is a CD drive. So again, your CD drive does have right here, this is gold pronged fingers. So there is some gold on there um, that I will remove. And again, I do have a video on that. Um, but definitely there is also another copper motor in here. There is a small armature. This armature you can see right there, I do break that off. That is yellow brass for $2.50. Okay. And every one of those circuit boards has different types of heat sinks. These are my beautiful ones that have a nice copper ingot. And I actually have another video showing you how to remove that copper. There's about seven ounces or six ounces of copper in each one of these. Okay, so definitely your big computer towers are worth it. Another style you have, sometimes the copper coming out of it. Okay, so I will take that copper and the rest of this is gonna be extruded aluminum. So just for a small little uh, experiment, if you will, just to show you, okay, my scale, just from that one donut or one circuit board that I had, just gonna weigh the amount of copper, or actually two, here's my transformer as well. This is the other transformer. So just to show you, there is over 2.2 pounds here. But again, if I was to take a little bit of tin off of here, I'm gonna still say right now there's 15 ounces. So there's probably about a pound and a bit just from these little donuts. Once I add up all my copper, definitely worth more money. My heat sink, I'm just gonna show you this one. This one alone weighs one pound, eight ounces, okay? These ones all together weigh 11 ounces, okay? This little piece that came out of something doesn't look like a lot, but there is five ounces there, okay? And as you can see behind me, I have a whole bunch of aluminum heat sinks as well to get through. So I will post online the different values and weights from all of these once I do it. Again, this was a rushed uh, video. Obviously, I would not be demolishing it as much as I do, but I wanted to show as much as I could in the time allotted. So definitely great items. Your copper, definitely worth taking. 
your clean aluminum, your extrusion, your painted extrusion, okay, your gold, okay, so just to show you an example, I've already cut one of the fingers off, so there you go, there is my gold plated fingers, I will put into a jar and save it, okay, and as I said, definitely the rest of these, regardless of the damage, it is going to go all into my um, e-waste, and I'm still going to get value from that, so hopefully you enjoyed that, again, get that scrap, Make sure you sort it appropriately um, and find out for what works best for you given your region. So thank you again for the comment. Please keep asking. I will do my best to answer any questions. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.